Hello, my name is Wendy Pectunas. I'm the manager of indoor horticulture here at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. And today I'm going to show you um, one of the secrets to our chrysanthemums and more exhibit. During our chrysanthemums and more exhibit, we're often asked about these mum spheres that we have hanging in our seasonal display. Um, the biggest question is how do you make those? So today I'm going to let you in on a little secret and we're going to show you just in fact how we make those. So what we do is we start with a floral foam sphere. And these spheres um, are made out of a special foam that retains water. Um, you simply dunk the foam in a bucket of water and you let it soak for about five to 10 minutes or so. Once it's done soaking, we pull those out. They're nice and heavy. Um, they they uh, are full of water. We stick these nifty little holders through hang them. We have um, cut chrysanthemums that we get from a florist and uh, we take and we cut all their heads off and use all the heads to stick in the foam spheres. So um, I go through, snip the nice big fat heads off, make a nice little pile there. And then we go through and we simply stick them in the foam balls. Just like that. The couple of tricks that you'll want to know if you do decide to do this at home is as you're sticking them in to keep the um, sphere nice and round. Um, when you do your stems, you're just going to want to like always point the stem toward the center of the sphere. Um, if you start, you know, doing one of these kind of things where you, you're going to get a lopsided sphere <laughs> or a step-sided sphere, um, so always point toward the center. Um, another thing that a lot of people think that we have to do, but you don't, is um, with this floral foam and chrysanthemums have a nice um, firm stem on them, we can stick them straight in just like that and uh, we don't have to like pre-poke a hole or anything like that or support them in any way. Um, because these are in a sphere that holds water, um, the special foam, these spheres will actually last about a week for us and while they hang we have we have no need we don't have to water them um, or anything like that they simply hang look beautiful and as the flowers start to go down then we make new spheres to replace the old ones for the display um, some other variations of this that you might want to try at home um, we've done centerpieces out of the spheres as well and that's something that's very easy to do at home um, you can see this here's partially finished one um, but again once you're Floral foam has soaked, and this floral foam, you can pick this up at a floral shop or um, any uh, florist supply store. Um, nice thing about it is it's really easy to shape and cut, so a simple slice through that gives you a nice flat surface so you're not working with a ball that's rolling around on you. And the same um, procedure that you did with the hanging one, you simply do over again here. Your cut stems and just push them in. You don't need to push the um, flowers in all the way. I like to use my fingers as kind of a spacer and I just push in until my fingers touch and then that's it. And it's, uh, it's simply a matter of just going around and filling in um, until it's finished. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have fun creating some of these of your own. If you'd like a little extra help or reassurance, um, we are gonna be demonstrating how to make these. On October 21st, there's a special Mum Day associated with the exhibit, and we will have horticulturists um, doing live demonstrations of how to make these. So you can see firsthand, up close, and ask all the questions you want um, on that day if you'd like some more information.